This is the Krillcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Will. And I'm RGT85. And uh, since you're on the show all week, why don't we have you tell everybody about your channel again? Uh, so yeah, I make mediocre video gaming content for everyone to enjoy or hate, whatever. <laughs> One or the other. As long as you're watching, right? Yeah, as long as you're watching, I'm happy. <laughs> um, I have to say, if you want to go check out some really good retro videos, a lot of his older videos were really, really, really good on the retro side. If you want more gaming news, his newer videos are also great for that kind of coverage. So he's got stuff for everybody, you know, mm -hmm. the binge I watcher try. of retro and the guy that wants the news every day. He's got everything. So just go check out his channel. All right. Um, and we're the Krillcast. If you're here checking us out, go subscribe. We're going to be talking today about a friend of RGT85 is over here. Uh, maybe he can tell us what this guy's all about. <laughs> Man of mystery. <laughs> Man. I'll give you guys some stats real quick and then we'll get into it. So uh, right now his channel is sitting at, wait, what is this? Oh, there we go. The about tab. That's what I need. He's sitting at 898,000 subscribers. So he's almost at that 900,000 mark, which is insane. Cause when I started watching him, he had like 80,000 subscribers. Um, yeah, I knew, that I knew the man when he had 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> I honestly think the first time I saw him was when he came on the Metal Jesus crew for a yep, minute. Same. I think that was the first time I <laughs> saw him, to be entirely honest. Um, he's got about 118 million views, pushing about 119 million. And uh, if you're looking for his channel, youtube.com slash beat him ups will get you there. Uh, his about me right here, his description says, I'm an acquired taste like Vegemite, which I believe is an Australian joke. Um, and he's got some business information. So, yeah, I guess he's an acquired taste. If he you're, is. Uh, <laughs> I, I watched very, him. Go ahead. He's very, see, he, he rubs people the wrong way. Like, people think that, like, he's, like, pompous or something. And people have always thought that <laughs> about him. But he's actually very, like, shy. Like, the first time I met him in person after talking to him for years was at, um... Uh, Retro World Expo 2017 and like I just walked up to him and he's like he's really tall he's like 6'2 or 6'3 really and like he just yeah like he just kind of looked at me over his shoulder and I was like what's up and he was like this is weird I don't know if I like it mate <laughs> I was like why he was like I don't know we've been talking for so long but we never met and I was like dude it's fine so out I think he put a video out literally saying that exact same thing back when yeah, like, I think he did like, like, this is just how he is. Like people, people think he's like being like a dick or whatever. And it's like, nah, he's just he's just a shy dude in person. Based on some of his older videos, I can definitely see that. Because um, that's I, just his internet persona. Yeah, everybody has an internet persona. Like I'm definitely not not nearly as energetic and laughing in real life. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Just ask yeah. Will. I just I just cry all the time. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring up personal problems. <laughs> So uh, what, what beat em ups is really known for, right? Is a lot of his Switch videos. He does a lot of these not Switch beat em ups. shop. What what did you say? Not beat em ups. Not beating. Yeah, he doesn't do a lot of beat em up videos. That's, that he doesn't true. even like beat em up games. Mm -hmm. I wonder where he now, came up with that a, name. There's a story behind that. I can't remember. Because it used to be called the Wood and Cane Show. Yeah. Or something like that when he was doing stuff with that Cane guy. But then those Cane just kind of. Uh, you know, they just stopped hanging out or whatever, and he just kind of started doing other stuff. So then he renamed the channel. I don't remember why he came up with that name. He told me the story once, but <laughs> I, I don't remember it. It is actually kind of unique because I've never seen another channel with that same name. So, yeah. I mean, I, I just actually figured out the other day why your channel is called RGT85, um, and you shortened it to that because it was much easier to say than what the original name was, which I'll let you jump in and fill in the words there because sure that it was, uh, well it's actually twofold because the channel before it even launched had a completely different name well not completely different it was going to be rgn which was retro gaming news and that's actually the gmail that's attached to it but then i changed it to retro gaming tube 85 and i remember i did something with um i did like a, a google <laughs> I, I okay i remember this well i did a google hangout with uh, gilly the kid and rerez on the channel just because i wanted to I basically was like, well, you know, maybe they'll share it out on social media. And I'd been friends with them or whatever. And um, 
before we went live, Gilly was like, you're going to hate your name. I was like, why? And he was like, it's too long. Like, you can't put that on a shirt. I was like, I don't care about that. And then, like, a year later, I was like, oh, man, he was right. Because he used to be Retro City Zone or something stupid like that. And then he changed it to just Gilly and Gilly the Kid, and it worked better for him. But, yeah. <laughs> yep. And, uh, I remember, actually, I just watched your video where you explained that exact same story. So if you want to go find out some more about RGT in the OG days, go look at some of his older <laughs> videos. Um, but we'll talk about it, and we'll talk about some of that in the next segment. That's right. Yeah, our Wednesday we, segment. We still have to make fun of Wood. <laughs> yes, we need to make fun of Wood. So I'm just going to bring up these last couple facts here. Um, so he does a lot of Switch videos, reviews, accessories, games, etc. It gives you kind of a good rundown of what's coming out. Um, and you know a little bit of mini reviews on some of the games and the accessories and has a little bit of a comical approach to it um, mm -hmm. But really what he was known for in the beginning was all of his Wii U videos He was like one of the biggest Wii U channels back when the Wii U was well I don't know if I could call it popular, but when it was still like, you know part of standard being made standard modern yeah. day talk um, and he's definitely known for being relatively, um, I would, I call them charismatic, but, uh, you could take RGT's side of it and say <laughs> that a lot of people know him for being quote unquote pompous or shy or, or mo like, both of those things. I would call it flamboyant. flamboyant. It's, 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 it's only in person. I, I think, I think on camera, you know, he comes across as, as very energetic and, you know, he just plays into that. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. because when we have conversations, you know, I, I talk to the dude every day, you know, it's like, we're two miserable old men just bickering at each other about nonsense <laughs> but he gets when he gets on camera you know he gets all pepped up and energetic and happy you kind of you know, it works for him you kind of have to sometimes right you know you got to be a little more energetic mm -hmm. on camera than in person yeah yeah oh. like uh, yeah i would say to some degree yeah um, sometimes it's, you know if you're just sitting there like guys i gotta tell you about the nintendo switch today you know nobody's gonna watch that <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's something a lot of people don't understand. They think that Wood gets, you know, crazy views because of the subject matter he talks about, which I think is very disrespectful because I am friends with, I'm not even friends, I'm subscribed to channels where they do like a very similar video to like what Wood or myself would do. And mm -hmm. it gets like 10 views and it's like, so like that's that's so you know it's it's disrespectful to say that like there's obviously a reason why people are watching a certain individual over another certain individual and I, I think some of it comes down to personality and he's definitely developed more of a personality on camera because he used to, you know the channel used to be it was essentially um, like the game chasers were yep. and he was going mm -hmm. game hunting in Australia and stuff like that and then he kind of started branching out into other stuff and that because you know like i couldn't imagine like the, the amount of time that goes into editing something like that like i hate editing and i could not imagine <laughs> trying to put together like a cohesive episode uh, like you know like game quest was or like the game chasers are just because of all, all the time that you have to put into that so you know but it, what he's doing now is, is definitely working for him i can't i'll be honest though i really don't watch him anymore and I, that's not a knock on him. It's just because, you know, I don't I don't watch Spawn Wave. I don't watch I people I'm friends with. I hardly ever watch because a I don't want to watch video gaming content when I'm in my downtime, and b I don't want to be subconsciously influenced by what my friends are doing or what my friends are saying, and then say the same thing. And this has come to bite me in the ass before. I actually made a video that was extremely similar to um some another content creator's video and they came out you know within like a, a two weeks of each other and i felt so bad and like people were like oh you ripped him off and it's like dude i did not rip him off like i literally just decided to make this video it was on mature um n64 games because there was a lot of mature n64 games and not a lot of people <laughs> like ever talked about that and i realized it when talking about how many n64 games in proportion to mature games there were to the whole library. I was like, wow, there, there was a vast majority of mature games. And another content creator had made a very similar video to that a couple of weeks before me. So, you know, I, I ended up looking like a piece of crap. So, uh, <laughs> but, but I had never even watched this video until somebody brought it to my attention and I'm watching it and I'm like, oh shit. Uh, but yeah, so I don't, you know, his, his content's great. It's very well edited. There's lots of funny skits in there and stuff. So, you know, it's great stuff. And as you were saying before, some of his very first videos, which we usually talk about the first video on a channel when we cover them, these Wooden Cane episodes, which I had actually never watched until we started talking about it, to be honest with you. 
Um, yeah, it's so, it's it's very it's very different. Like it's mm-hmm. and and you could see how he's definitely grown. Oh yeah, as and as like a person and as a YouTube individual as well. Yeah, his like, scales have grown with his hair. Yes. Oh yeah, like <laughs> like it, it, it's it's a night and day sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And w- when you watch his uh, his collection grow it's so funny to see it goes from like the australian blue boxes to like actual like ntsc american boxes as he goes further and further down the line like his collection goes from more more australian to more american titles as he gets a bigger 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 collection but he still always talks about how he had to leave a lot of it in australia when he moved yeah he got he got a good chunk of it um when when he finally settled down um and like had a pl- had like his own place. Yeah, he, uh, he actually got a good chunk of it. But I, I remember that was an absolute nightmare. He had to like drive to a port that was like six or seven hours away to go pick it up. I, like it was a it was a huge process. Oh yeah, hmm. I remember that video because he got it in like the most ridiculous looking shipping boxes I've ever seen. It's like yeah. just plastic tubs. I was like, yeah. really? This is how they shipped it? Oof, that's not good. Um, but yeah, he's come a long way from here because if you look at um. Did you look over the? You don't have to admit it, but did you, you looked over the outline, right? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I remember we were doing this, and we got to the fourth video, and Adam Corlick was like, "I didn't read the outline." <laughs> 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 I think you said that in the very first video, actually. <laughs> you might be right. I don't remember, but um, yeah, he's come a long way because his most popular videos have come out in the last year, and mm. some of it is some. He of, blew up all of a sudden. Like, yeah. Again, like you're saying, like we're watching him a couple years ago. And I liked his content, and then I tuned back in, like, you know, several months ago, and suddenly he's only huge view numbers. Oh, yeah. Just like uh guy down in the bottom corner of the screen right here. I think I started watching you at about, I think you had, like, 60,000 subs when I started watching you. Okay. And uh, I didn't realize you had jumped over 200,000 in the last, you know, what, 12 months? Oh, no, it's it probably... Two well, years? It's probably because probably I remember when I... Decided to go full time. I was at eighty thousand, and that was February twenty eighteen. Because you you uh-huh. grew pretty rapidly once you started putting out the daily content. Yes. Yeah, and I think that's really when you start going full time. You start getting this great editing, and for you too, the same thing. As soon as you guys started doing that, boom! It was like the the success got bigger and bigger as you guys kept putting out the content. That's the goal. And hopefully it works. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but like his content, like you said, it's it's definitely evolved. Especially when you look back at Wooden Cane, where they're just two guys talking mm-hmm. in front of a camera. Now here he's in the middle of the ten best free games on Nintendo Switch, and he's doing a baking thing in the beginning. Like I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> yeah, even going back a year ago, though, he has so much more confidence now. Oh yeah. Like, I don't know, just the, the oh, persona Skillshare. that we've been talking about it really shines through now. It's a Skillshare commercial. I did not realize that at first. <laughs> Anyways, so that's his most popular video, is 10 best free games on the Nintendo Switch. Anytime you put the word free in the title, I, I swear it automatically boosts you up by like 10% at minimum. But, People um, love free stuff. They do, they do. <laughs> like, I, I saw a video that said, free things on Wish.com, and I was like, I don't want to watch it, but it's free. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so really what we get into after this is we say like what do we like most about their channel because we want to build them up before we knock them down yeah um i was gonna say you can go first if you want his hair like i'm very jealous of that (laughs) i have very (laughs) curly locks when my hair was long like it it wasn't i i could never get it to look that nice so i I would definitely say his hair how about you will (laughs) Uh, yeah, so I mean the hair obviously. <laughs> I'm, I'm, right now I'm in you know quarantine, so like, I'm starting to grow out my hair. You can't tell because I have the beanie on, but it's actually down like almost to my shoulders in the back. It's, it's basically a mullet, but we're get, we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I also really like his uh, thumbnails, his recent thumbnails. Uh, they're really attention grabbing, and he also has like these really comical faces, which already pull me in because like that guy looks. Kind of funny. I'm gonna <laughs> click on this video, um, and then we we talk about like banners and stuff too. So the banner I really like, and it really meshes well with this icon. I like how he changed it to have the switch the switch uh, Joy Cons in there. I don't like that as much because I feel like it, you know, is uh, hating on Xbox. No, <laughs> <kidding>. <laughs> no, that's fine. I I appreciate it. Um, and his content is entertaining. So I, I do. You don't really know what you're getting into necessarily, because sometimes he'll say like, 
like the title will be one thing or you know the t- the thumbnail is advertising a game but then it ends up being like a skit or he's making a lot of jokes that really aren't related but still entertaining and he'll you know eventually go back to the content you clicked on originally um but honestly i kind of like that so he's all over the place sometimes that's for yeah. sure it makes it entertaining you don't know what you're getting into so i actually like um this, this is going to sound like a weird, uh, not a criticism, but it's a positive. I liked all of his Wii U content a lot. And then when he went to the Switch, for me, it was like, oh, no, I've lost one of my favorite Wii U content creators because I knew he was going to go all Switch all the time once he went to the Switch mm-hmm. because the Wii U is, like, essentially dead. <laughs> but I, I really loved all of his content covering the Wii U because he was one of the few people willing to kind of do it on the daily like he did all the time. And so I still, every time I see somebody that I like, covering Wii U content at all, I will mm-hmm. literally just click on it because I still find the Wii U such a fascinating topic. Um, specifically, I noticed even RGT down here at the bottom just put out what was the last digital Wii U game that came out, right? And you yeah. were like touting, I don't remember what it was, but it was an eShop game. And I remember clicking on it specifically because Wii U is in the title. So I, I, the exact same thing. I really enjoyed his Wii U content a lot. And moving on to the Switch, now that I've got one, I'm looking forward to his Switch content because it's hilarious and informative at the same time. And I appreciate that about his channel. Mm-hmm. So now that we've covered what we like, um, what are some things we think he can improve or some things that he doesn't do very well? Um, he gets oh. too many views. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me sick in my stomach. No. Um, I, don't, I can't really criticize him because for me, it's like you look at one of his videos and you look at one of my videos and it's like, Okay, one person knows how to edit and one person <laughs> doesn't. Um, so you know, I would, I, I would like to see him, you know, maybe try. I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, like I, one of my favorite videos of his was a, a Back to the Future review for the NES, and it was like a two part. It was a two part video, and it had like really good skit in it where like he was Doc Brown, but like that video, I, I know how much time and effort he put into it, and it ended up like getting like nowhere near the views that it should have got so i can understand why he wouldn't want to do something like that and you know pushes himself towards something that you know he will be successful because you don't want to mm-hmm. you know essentially waste your time you are definitely not wrong man he only got four thousand five thousand views on that and it has not really built up over time Mm-mm. yeah and it's a really it's a really good video it's really it's really like he has a, do- a fake doc brown that comes in and stuff like because <laughs> he put his hair back he should let it down yep you're right that's gotta be it <laughs> um yeah I like this kind of content I didn't even know he did this I need to watch this now <laughs> no, there's a fake Doc Brown <laughs> <laughs> that is great I love it <laughs> mm-hmm. so obviously he uh, filmed this multiple times and had to keep himself away from himself so he could actually yeah, put, this put, is awesome. impose himself upon it that's cool I didn't realize he had these kinds of editing skills for like you know this more long form, uh, scripted content. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that was that like, he used to do. That was he did a lot of stuff like that back in probably when did that video come out like 2016. It was yeah, right right at the end of 2015. Okay, so yeah, that was that was kind of what he would do. You know, he's basically just trying to find his groove, trying to find mm-hmm. what worked for him. How about you, Will? You got any uh, tips for this guy? Yeah, I I don't know. I have a hard time with this too, just because I. You pick like we pick someone that I actually really enjoy watching, so I have a hard time <laughs> nitpicking it. Um, I guess one of the things that I enjoy is the fact that his titles are, are kind of I don't want to say clickbaity, but they get their attention getting, and sometimes it doesn't necessarily cover what I think it's going to. <laughs> um, so I mean, although I like that because it adds a little bit of mystery to the video, <laughs> um, I also ne- don't necessarily like it at the same time because you know sometimes I just want to get whatever the content I thought I was ex- like whatever I was expecting. Um, so sometimes I've only watched, you know, two minutes in and then I get, I click off the video because I realize, although it's funny, it's not what I wanted. I think one thing that if I was running a channel his size that I might consider doing, um, I see that he's got these in playlists, but uh, maybe group the series that he's doing kind of more together, like have like a tagline in each of them. Like this is this series, like top tens, like how some of the other channels do. Because if you look, a lot of his videos are just like, like you said, the clickbait title with no like in underlying series title. Mm-hmm. And so like you don't know if these are similar videos other than he's grouped them in playlists. 
So if I'm just searching on uh, beat em ups and I want to find something, like top tens, if I just did that, they'll come up, but they're not like, they're not like a series, you know what I mean? They're just yeah. like all just top tens. Yeah. That's fair. I think it'd be cool to have a couple series on his channel. Like, and maybe he could do some of his long form content in a series format. But that's really all I've got. I don't really have a whole lot. He's doing obviously way more successful than myself or Will. <laughs> and uh, you need to change up everything. Yeah, just <laughs> just rename your channel the Krillcast, and we'll be all set. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. What are our predictions for the channel going forward? Where do we think he's going to be a year from now? One point two. No, nah, I'll say one point four mil. Yeah, think so. I think so. I think so. What about He's you, got Will? momentum on his side. Mm -hmm. Same? I, I mean, I think that's about the same. I would say just I don't want to be as specific. <laughs> but uh, I think, yeah, he's just going to keep increasing. And uh, potentially with the, the Switch HD coming out um, or another Zelda, I think he, that content could make him jump even further. Yeah, because his, his videos tend to jump really high when Nintendo puts out new stuff. Um, yeah. Because he does cover like mostly the Switch, but I see that he's got a uh, a Half Life VR set on his head in this picture, so I might have to watch that video later. Um, you see, he got the Half Life logo on there. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I, for some reason, I was thinking, oh, it's not the Valve logo; it's the Half Life logo. Sorry, brain fart. My bad. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna predict that he's gonna be 1.5 million by next year. Just gonna go go for broke here, um, <laughs> but. Uh, I just want to also extend at the end of this video, Wood, if you want to come on and review RGT's channel, we're open, oh we're open to it. I think it'd be a lot of yeah. fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, maybe you can give him some pointers or, or tell him how great he is, one or the other, you know, whatever you want to do. I'm sure, that, I'm sure that's how to go. <laughs> um, but uh, in conclusion, we all love your channel. So as always, I'm Chris. And I'm Will. And I'm RGT. And we will see you on the next Crowcast. Bye, guys.